Yep. This kind of day, y'all. Starting to vlog off having to deal with this BS. Leaving the gym. Stuff like this happens. It's called life. Ah, here we go. Let's see if I remember how to do this, y'all. It's been a minute. All right. We're going to make it happen. And look at this, bro. Whoever did this, you know, you know you felt yourself back into my car. Damn shame. All right, guys, it is literally the next day. Um, bit of a struggle trying to get it off the other day, but got the proper tools. Finally got it off, so Mr. Fix It is in the building. It's a beautiful day in Strength's world. Despite what you guys saw at the beginning of this video, it's a beautiful day. Now, mind you, it's a few days later. Um, I have to take my car to the shop because it nailed in my tire. So that was what the whole ordeal was about when it came to my car with the tire being flat. Hopefully, they can repair it. It didn't look severely damaged, but if they can't, I gotta buy a new tire. It is what it is. It's life. Now, as far as the person who scraped up the front of my car, you're weird. I just had a video where I talked to you guys about weird energy, and you were like, you knew you hit my car. You knew you bumped into my car. You non-driving. We ain't gonna cuss on this channel, but you know what I mean. You know you you knew you hit my car. You should have left the number, your license plate information, all of that. You know what I mean? So. You got over on me this time, all right? But just know what goes around comes around. I hope you was driving a Bentley. I hope you ran over a curve. <laughs> but anyway, man, um, the one thing I love about this channel, guys, is I give it to you guys raw, man. I don't want you guys just to see the positive stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. I want y'all to see the positive stuff. Of course, that's the message that we convey on the channel. That's what we do. But at the same time, I want you guys to know that, you know, life is not peaches and cream every single event of your life. You're going to go through some storms. You're going to go through some setbacks. And that's the part where even though I didn't necessarily, I'm not, I don't look forward to it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to go through those things to learn how to actually grow through things. You know what I'm saying? I could have been down all day about, you know what I'm saying, having to deal with the situation. But, you know, whatever you're going through, I promise you. It's small potatoes compared to what the next person could be going through right now, right in the very moment of whatever it is that you're going through. You know what I mean? So you gotta take it with a smile, man. You know what I mean? There's no point in slashing the other three tires just because that one tire went down. You gotta take time out to put the tire back on your car, and if you don't know how to change a tire, then that's a moment for you to learn how to change a tire. You gotta find positive ways to look at every single thing. Every single thing, you know what I mean? No matter what you're going through, somebody else is really going through it much worse than you. So, you know what I'm saying? Patch it up, put your tire on, and keep on trucking, keep on driving, all right? I don't know how this vlog is going to be. I don't know what this vlog is going to be about. At the same time, we're vlogging, and we're going to make it happen, all right? Welcome back to the channel if you already hip. Welcome to the channel if you're brand spanking new. Support the squad. Hit that subscribe button. See y'all in a few. time next day y'all green goodness on deck yup 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 first and foremost I have to apologize to you guys this vlog is all over the place this is literally like the fifth day later from the beginning of this vlog so um, it's not my typical nature my typical style of vlogging you know what I mean I will let it leak over to another day but typically not several days later but at the end of the day we got work to do this is not the best that you guys are gonna get from me again I apologize but I gotta get the job done I gotta get this video to you guys and I promise y'all nothing but bangers going forward all right um, shout out to all the new subscribers too if y'all seen my last video I appreciate y'all man for coming through in the clutch uh, the numbers is going up. I appreciate all the love that we're getting and it's just motivating me inspiring me to want to produce Lit content for you guys man. So y'all be looking out for that. You guys are listening to me I appreciate all the love that we get here on the channel all of you guys who support me here Y'all are gonna you know you guys are forever gonna hear me say that when we started with just one subscriber I was very very grateful for that one subscriber when we got to two I was grateful and here we are, you know what I'm saying, where we at now. Not where I want to be, but at the end of the day, I'm grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm a big, big, firm believer that as we grow through life, as we enter new phases, as we level up, you know what I mean? As we, you know what I'm saying, obtain success through the highs and lows, man. Never, 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 never stop being humble, you know. Stay humble throughout your whole ride, man, you know what I'm saying. Stay humble through the whole ride. I've seen too many people lose themselves. 
um, as they, you know, started seeing some success in their life, man. And to me, that's a big, big no-no. That's a big, big character issue, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Always stay humble because as the Lord giveth, he can take it away. And that's just the best way to go about life, in my opinion. Stay solid every step of the way. Stay ten toes, never fold. Never change who you are. No matter how much success, don't get distracted by any of the things. I know you may start seeing some success happen in your life. But don't get distracted, man. At the end of the day, this is all things. You know what I'm saying? You can't take the money with you. A lot of you guys who are new to my channel uh, may not be aware of the fact that I used to rap. I had my own record company, and I had fun doing it. But the point that I want to make is, um, as an artist, I pretty much I did everything I wore all the hats. Um, I was an artist. I pretty much did everything, um, in exception of making beats. I tried that, and it was an epic fail. I just said I'm gonna leave that to the professionals. You know what I'm saying? But everything else, I was a recording artist. I'm an engineer, and um, I had a few artists on deck too. I had a good run. I enjoyed doing music. I enjoyed doing what I was doing. And a lot of you guys may wonder, well, if you enjoyed it, why did you stop? Stay tuned for that video. I think I dropped a video before in the past talking about it, but I want to drop another one, you know what I'm saying? An updated version on, you know, explaining to you guys why I stopped doing music. But anyway, I remember as an artist, and I'm sure a lot of my artists out there can relate, um, sometimes, you know, we make music like, we put passion into all of what we do, you know, if you're one of those type of artists who really, really take your craft serious. But sometimes, as an artist, we like to uh, create fun music. Meaning, you know, you may make a song that you don't necessarily project it's going to be that one that's going to get you out there because, you know, you're like, you know, I'm just having fun with this particular song. Even though, you know what I'm saying, it's a clap your hands, stomp your feet kind of song, at the end of the day, um, you don't look at that as like your... I'm not going to say your best work, you know, because you should take pride in all of what you do, but that's not the one, that one song that you write just to have fun with it may not be the one that you're anticipating is going to be that banger, um, where you may have other songs that you wrote that is that banger, right? So um, there was a particular song that I wrote a while ago where it was one of those fun songs. I was just pretty much having fun with it, and I didn't think much of it, but that song became like a household song where everywhere I went, everybody requested it. The band that I was with, yes, I had a band. Um, I was actually in a few bands, but the band that I was with, they surprised me. They did uh, a cover. They did a cover of that actual track and surprised me with it. And everywhere that we went, um, we pretty much played that song and the crowd went crazy. Everywhere that we went, the crowd went crazy. And I never thought that that particular song would jump the way that it jumped. So I'm appreciative of everybody who rocked with me with that song and throughout my whole musical stint. But um, the whole point of what I'm trying to say is, it's kind of the same way on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You may not necessarily know which video is gonna jump, which video is gonna pop, but apparently, apparently everybody is rocking with my supplement review videos. Those videos are actually going up, up. Every single supplement review video that I do, um, does pretty much you know decent numbers on it and um, I, I never wanted this channel to be like really strictly a fitness Well, I'm not gonna say never um, I grew to the point where I said I'm not gonna make this a strictly fitness channel That's why you guys will hear me say that um, but fitness is part of my journey You know what I mean? And I definitely was not looking to make this a supplement review video However, I do review supplements to educate you know to whom it may concern on some of the supplements out here And you know let you guys know let you guys in on what it is that I'm aware of when it comes to the knowledge that I have when it comes to this fitness stuff. I never anticipated that, you know what I'm saying, we pulling back the gym too, so I'm gonna cut the conversation short. I'm just pretty much trying to end this video some way, somehow, but I never anticipated, I never had any idea that those supplement review videos would do what it does. Hold on, let, hang tight, let me park. Sorry, y'all, vlogging and driving is difficult, you know what I mean? But anyway, y'all, I never anticipated for um, any of that stuff to really do what it did, and if you look back on old, my older videos, you know, I have like a full day of eating. You guys love the food stuff, you know what I'm saying? But again, I do that here and there occasionally because I don't want, you know what I'm saying? I don't want my channel to be based off of fitness by itself, but you just never know, man. Anybody out there who got goals and dreams, man, just keep working. Trust the process. Keep believing in your vision. Keep going after what it is that you're going after. And eventually, you know what I'm saying? You're going to make a breakthrough. All right. So I don't know. Maybe this will be the topic of the video. You know, you saw how we started out. We back in the whip. It's no point of slashing the other three tires. You know what I'm saying? Just because you caught a flat. Now nah, change that tire and get back on your grind. With that said, gym time, you already know. More live vlogs on the way. Again, I apologize for this video. I know I said that already, but I can do better and I will do better. Everybody out here staring at me talking to you guys, but it's all good, man. Because we live, y'all. Anyway, as always, y'all do what brings life to you.
And it's a great chance that you'll bring life to whatever it is that you do. You already know to the next time, y'all, whatever you do, stay positive, stay focused, keep pushing. Keep your foot on the pedal and put that pedal to the metal. To the next time, y'all, it's your boy D, a.k.a. The Strength Squad General. You already know one love. Hashtag growth.